here we are then, the playoffs. They can be the best and worst thing about football sometimes. You like the playoffs because of the excitement and the hype that it brings. You don't like the playoffs because of the nerves that it brings. Not so playing Chesterfield at home. The winner goes straight through to play Torquay away next week. There's no second leg. Not so just got to keep, you know, keep doing what they've been doing the last few weeks. Sticking to the game plan and remaining calm. And hopefully we can progress to the next round. Come on, Knots. Come on, you pies. Let's do this. I'll tell you what, my foot feels very, very weird at the moment. I've been sat down for so long. I think I've got pins and needles. Right, there's one change from the last game. It's Enzio in for O'Brien. Enzio or Rodriguez will play in the number 10 role. One, the other one will play up top. Getting nervous, to be honest, every time before the playoffs. Like I say, it's the best and worst thing in football. And we've never been through the playoff quarter-final stage before. We only had to play one game to get to the final last season. This is going to test nerves of even the most optimistic of Knots fan this. Because this is it. No more going back now. It's now or never. Again, obviously, you don't get your normal season ticket seat. It's just randomly assigned when you go to buy them. And so I'm, you know, to the side of it. are back down the tunnel, it's around 10 minutes till kick-off, the nerves are building, we're almost ready, it's not, it's Chesterfield, it's the National League playoff quarter-finals, quarter-finals, first round, we'll call it first round, the first stage of the playoffs. Ten minutes in, nil nil. Enzio had an early, early chance over the bar, literally within like the opening minute or so. I think Miller had a chance where he cut in, and the keeper saved it, or either that or just gave it to another player. And now Chesterfield have got a corner. But yeah, nerves, definite nerves at the moment. Are just moving it just a, a bit too slow for my liking. They took the tempo a bit. Nobody's making runs for, um, for the cent for, for the centre backs. Nobody, they've got no one to play it to. O'Brien will be making them runs, but we've kind of like it's a, a bit different today. Enzio and Ruben are playing off water rather than Mo Ruben or Enzio playing up front of him. And we keep just giving some little free kicks away as well, which is a strong chance to Chester because obviously we're good at set pieces. Goal. 
so uh, there's two on just a field. This has been a really frustrating half. We've, we've gifted them two goals. Some, some poor defending. Slocum probably should save the first, in my opinion. He, sh he should get a stronger hand to it. And then the second's poor defending. Rawlinson really should. He really should track his man. And the ball goes across and somebody's got to be there to cut it out. Calvin Miller has the, beat, has the beating of their right back. He's got him all the time. We need to get it down that side. We also need to get it to Rodriguez, to Wotton. Not to start the second half all right. Rodriguez had a cross that just evaded Knowles at the back post. Doyle with a great ball to Wotton and Wotton just miscontrolled it. If he controlled it, then he might have scored.
have lost my voice. What an ending to that game. Mark Ellis steaming in at the back post to give us the win, to give us a tie at Torquay and to knock Furlow FC out of the playoffs. It's absolutely beautiful. That was an emotional roller coaster. Went behind twice, clawed it back. Ruben Rodriguez with a beautiful ball to the back post and Mark Ellis was there. Get a pen in his hand, get his contract signed. Legend. Wow, I've been through so many emotions today. Just I've that was an emotional roller coaster that game from start to finish. One goal down, we equalised straight away, and then we went two one down late in the first half, and you think, oh no, here we go again with the playoffs. But we equalised we got an equaliser, and then the pure joy, the pure happiness that, that just erupted out of Meadow Lane when that goal went in in the 90th minute through Mark Ellis. It was just pandemonium in the cup. Moments like that are why we love football. Just that moment in a high-stakes game like today, and to have that ending, wow. And the the relief, but the, the pure buzz when that happened. Memories were made today. Not so through to the semi-finals against Torquay. The first half, we were a bit slow with our tempo. We needed to start making more runs behind the Chesterfield defence. We, need, we needed to get the, the ball to Ruben and Watson. They, they, were, they were all right in the first half, but we were just a bit slow in getting the ball forward. And then we changed it up at half-time. We, um, we bought on Knowles for Rawlinson, which means Brinley became one of the three centre-backs. Enzio went to the wing. Ruben became the um, attacking midfielder. And it, it helped us. It really did. Brinley playing at centre-back really helped us bring the ball out from the back. And it helped us be become the more dominant team, in my opinion, in the second half. We really, we had, I feel like we had a lot more chances. We we, we created more. And that helped. Because Enzio, Enzio as well on the wing. Enzio, when he's in the centre, he isn't as good as he is on the wing. When he was on the wing, he creates a bit more. He's allowed to run at players a bit more. Rodriguez drawing fouls throughout the game and some good set piece. Some not so good. But some good set-piece deliveries. Both set-piece de deliveries from Ruben ended up with us scoring our second and third goals of the game. One of them eventually got fell to Carl Wotton to equalise. And obviously one reached Mark, Kelly Mark Ellis's big head at the back post to win us the game. Ian Birchnell's Black and White Army. You pies. Get in there. We're through to the semi-finals. I'm so... So happy we have won that game. That was such a satisfying win. What a day it's been. What a game it was. And what a spectacle. What, what, a, what a football club. If you enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. If, you, if, you're, if you're already subscribed, say subscribe. Subscribe if you're new as well. Be safe. Be champions. As always. Soonish.